Ah, lovely to see you again. Come in, sit down, have a cup of tea. This is the Maltese part of the Orchestral Essentials 2 walkthrough. The instruments were covered in another part. So if yeah, it's probably best to see that first. And we start here with the Maltese, which are groups of instruments uh, here from the regular library. Uh, sometimes they're tweaked a little in terms of effects or range or something. And they're all put together in glorious combinations, starting with 221B Baker Street. Well, what are you going to do? I, don't, I know, I know, I know I said I wouldn't play that in the other in the instruments thing, but I've played it, so I mean it's called 221P Baker Street, of course I'm going to play it, what else are you meant to do? Really nice down there, a bit of that prepared piano, do you hear that? All very good. A long legacy. So this is a multitude of legatos and brass, as you see. Well, OK, one legato, but lots of brass. And there's plenty of odd wheel action there as well. That's a gorgeous section, isn't it? You can see what's comprised in it. And up the top there with the you've got the choir coming in there as well with the trumpet. They're tasty. Abandoned. So oboe here. When I'm playing hard, you get more stuff coming in. Those strings come in, strings and brass wells. It's a bit sad, isn't it? It's a bit sad. Very good. Ancient Echoes. Now, is this one of the effects ones? It is. Okay, so we've got him down there. Bit weird. Speaking of weird, oh, this is weird. It was odd it didn't play, but it's playing now. Something up with that, not all, not all the notes are playing there for me, and I'm always complaining about my keyboard, but that's not. It's almost EDM-ish, isn't it? It doesn't sound like a cymbal on when uh, played like that, more EDM, very nice. Boozer. You can't give a baby booze. <laughs> I suppose he mainly staccato, but then so when you play hard, you get the organ in as well. Of 
caught in the web we are. What's this? You can't see the loading screen, sorry. I do apologise, it's loading all sorts of things. It's on another screen. And we've got mod wheel action there as well. This is a great example of a multi that just has all this stuff in it. Very good. That's a really... I love those ones where you've just got all this range in it. And uh, that's a good example of that. When you hear that change, that's my, me resetting my mod wheel. And the hard notes, you've got Vibes, that slow attack vibes coming in as well as the choir. That's just lovely there, isn't it? Getting those Sodinos in or out on CC1. Closing time. We're back in the pub again. say clumsy henchman that sounds promising <laughs> Getting a good idea of just how broad Orchestral Essentials is here. Okay, we're confronting people, aren't we? All right, okay. I think that's the sort of those stabby moments, isn't it, really? Cup of a Carpenter. Now, what film do you think of when you hear the name Cup of a Carpenter? I think of one where there's a man with a hat. It's the third in a series.
very usable. So on my left hand here, that's playing all these textures, which you remember from the instruments have all that going on in it. And they're obviously chordal. Pretty darn good. Oh, hello. There's your horror film score in and out the door in 20 minutes with a copy of this. Facing your past. Okay, right. Any of these, you can, uh, of course, just tweak the elements if you want to make that more kind of more distant and uh, distant past. There we go. is going on there those R's coming in and then I got freak show. Okay, okay. Loading. The curious beast, isn't it? Honestly, right now. I'm not quite sure what to play there. Um, but there we are. If you're in that kind of a mood, you'll probably be more inspired than I. Texture gracious. For me, I'm not sure I like that sort of gritty, clicky thing going on there. Uh, okay, so these are the textures that we have uh, from the uh, from the instrument section. On low velocity, we have it just the strings, and then you play higher, and you get everything coming in.
Lots of legatos in there. It's quite that's quite a sort of a close sound there. Again, another one where you might want to play around with a little. Hold that chord. I like the ones that tell you exactly what to do. That's a good atmosphere there, isn't it? Insomnia. Christopher Nolan film. And a sleep condition. And the two are related. Oh, yes. It's very bright. It's... You've got a... Headache. You've got to, got to get this, got to get to sleep. But uh, it just right, you blimey! You'll never sleep with that going on. Lots of bowed symbols and strangeness. That yeah, is this the end? No, we're about two thirds of the way through. So don't go thinking that. Okay, well, I've adjusted CC1 here in the corner. Late Night of Baroque. What do lost memories give us then? That's nice, isn't it? Sorry, I forgot you were there. Um, it's, you know, perfect patch for that kind of thing. It's almost a bit of Thomas Newman kind of thing. Apologies for my just rambling around here. Um, polyrhythm. Oh, 
I've heard documentary scored with less. Mean Pirate. More of this. Wumpf! Wumpf, tuba! Hit those notes hard and you get the sort of marcato. Even quieter and you get staccato. Nice, I like that. Returning home. I'm expecting something warm and lovely. I have played these before, but I can't remember them all. Okay, so we're on. Secret wedding. Move my chair. There we go. There goes the tips. God, that's nice, isn't it? What's going on there? That little pulsing thing. That's great. Can you hear that? That's what they're doing. String ensemble fast crescendo. Got like an arp effect going on with it. playing the Truman Show on time. Um, set back it says, but I can hear that's a warm thing as well. I don't think that, that's, that's lovely, isn't it? Okay. I mean, my improvising is bad enough at the best of times, but when you're playing with these rich chords with augmented Lord knows what's going on in there, <laughs> you have to excuse me. Um, I'm remembering while I was, oh, that's working quite nicely though, a bit of noir -y sort of stuff. Special Forces, a whole hunk of brass here.
nice, but the, the ranges are quite strange here. Things aren't quite where I'd expect them to be. stuff. The impact! Hello, hello. There's an arc going on here. And finally... Almost come full circle, haven't we? There we go. Thank you very much for uh, bearing with the usual indignities that I inflict upon you. Um, uh, feel free to listen to what I really do when I'm not just making it up as I go along uh, on the website, guyroland.co.uk. Um, and that links there to my music as well as my other sound work and stuff. Uh, thank you very much to Project Sam for getting me this advanced copy. I hope it gives you a flavour, at least, of, uh, of what you can get in Orchestral Essentials 2, I guess. Orchestral Essentials 1 is the most essential if you're starting out. That's got all the basics in. But this lot, there's plenty in here that I haven't got, and I've got almost all the Project Sam stuff now. Um, some really usable multis, some very usable instruments. Um, it's a, a terrific set, I think. Uh, thank you very much, and uh, see you on the next one. <laughs>